Day 27, cycling across the USA from Miami to LA, all to raise money for the fantastic cause, Get Kids Going! Exclamation mark. In today's episode, we're riding from San Angelo to Big Spring, Texas. And I think we have another rider with us. Is that right? Yes. Who is it? Well, it's a very lovely bike rider from San Angelo that we've never met, but they seem lovely. And at this stage of the journey, Francis, we'll take any company we can find. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? I hope so. This is Ryan. You may have noticed there was a little gap in the videos because Rob, the carbon repair man, stayed an extra morning to make sure Justin's bike was definitely repaired, definitely okay to keep going. So a big thanks to Rob for that. It means we've had an extra rest day, we have fresh legs and arms, and on top of that we have Ryan with us, who we have never met before, but seems like a very nice guy. He said he's gonna try and join us for the whole route today. So a little bit of shelter from the wind. He's worn his biggest jacket that he owns, which we're very happy about. And we've got about 90 miles to ride. So we better get going. I know. It's, it's like, like a, a, like a sail. Are we riding some nice roads today? Oh yeah. No, they're awesome. The view's great, Justin. I'm really tempted to try one of those at one stage. I don't think you should because your your heart will explode. Yeah. Oh, you don't want them? Yeah. They're bad for you. Yeah. They'll give you like a. I call it like a. I call it like a panic attack. Oh wow. Oh, like yeah. It your heart. You are a terrible salesperson. <laughs> But if we take two of them, do you get 10 hours of it? Absolutely. Or do you just get double energy for five hours? Um, maybe for five minutes. Until your heart that. explodes, I yeah. I mean, if you want something crazy, there are the red lines over there. And What's those a red things, line? Like, they oh like my god, they are worse <laughs> than that. I'd rather you have these than a red line. Oh, I really want to see that. Man. You don't even have to drink half of it. And that thing is like, woo! Is that the thing that that woman was telling I us? I think it was. Red line extreme. <laughs> That's our you new challenge. You get to maybe, maybe about here. Yeah. You let it kick in for like five minutes, maybe. Yeah. And you're like, boom! And you're like, this is crazy. Stuff. There's not a lot of weirdos out here because they're very far away from town. But the nastiest thing I've ever seen is someone taking in the toilet and it's like straight up on like where the toilet is and not in the water. So we didn't show you guys the finished carbon repair. Here is the results. Underneath here, there's two layers of carbon, which is covering up the crack, and then a big wrap over the outside, which Rob did overnight. Then we've added some duct tape over the top. Not for the reason you think. It's not holding it together. It is purely just so the carbon, which is quite sharp, because uh, it was a roadside job, to smoothen it out so it doesn't cut Justin's legs or cut his clothes while he's riding, because this is exactly where his legs go. So far, so good. And bike is still in one piece. If we get through today's ride, then I'm sure we'll get to LA. Your bike hasn't fallen apart. Excellent. Yeah. I was just showing the camera the, I mean, the I, handiwork. I would have been very surprised if it fell apart from doing nothing whilst I was in the toilet. No, I just mean over the course of the ride, you know. Oh yeah. No, it's amazing. We've got bikers with us now. Yeah, uh, with us. Yeah. Are they coming? Yeah, yeah. They're going to follow us the whole way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hopper. <sighs> don't tell Justin. <laughs> oh. Mate, I don't care if they're over there. Like, uh, he's walking to towards you right now. As long as it's not riding on me for hours. He's without walking my towards you. I don't care about insects as long as they're just not crawling all over me whilst I'm riding without my knowledge. That's that's the only problem. They will eat it. Yeah, why not? Mate, I eat meat. If you eat meat, you should fucking eat everything. Last video, we were slagging off DQ. And now we're back at DQ. No, no, no. I, I wasn't slagging off DQ. I was just saying that maybe we should go to Dairy Queen and actually have some dairy. Did you get some? No. Oh. Is dairy going to help on this ride? Probably not. Probably not. Is anything you can buy in there going to help us? High sugar drinks. You can come into shop. Let us know if you need anything else. Amazing. Thank you very much. So you call these chips. Yeah. And you call chips. Crisps. Crisp. Yeah. Because they're crispy. You bite them, they're crispy. 
Have you noticed everyone on this trip is called Rob, Ryan, or Ray? Yeah. At least mine spelled weird. <laughs> <laughs> Cues are made the same. That one was better. They did have onion rings. How are you feeling today? <laughs> I've got a fixed bike and we're smashing out a 90 mile day. We've actually joined two days together because we took an extra rest day when Rob wanted to eye over the frame, make sure it was all okay. So we needed to keep our progress up. So joining two days together kind of made sense, which is why today is a little bit longer. It actually is a much more efficient way to ride. Uh, it just means we're on a bigger road, but being a Sunday and the lane being so wide, it's all good. And most importantly, we have company. Hey, I'm not sure why Ryan is drafting us. We're making a mistake here, Justin. That's a good point. We should at least make him carry the stuff. Dunks, it's unbelievable. So now we're making some progress. Warmed up a little bit, just jerseys on. We're doing 30K an hour. This has definitely been the fastest ride we've done. I don't know if it was the rest day or having Ryan with us, but we are flying and we're climbing all day. Over the course of this ride, which is 130, 140K, we're gaining like 600 meters of elevation. So, we're climbing pretty much all day. Well, doesn't count. I haven't got you anything. That's no, fine. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's your you fault got, you for saying no. This morning. Yeah, we did ask. Multiple times. Yeah. And you were like, no, I've got gels, I've got water. Again, youth. It's the joys of youth. So you're saying, you know, don't get injured, you just recover. We fall asleep funny and we hurt for a couple of yeah, months. Yeah, I get injured from sleep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do. You wake up and you're like, what the hell happened to me? <laughs> Shit rad. This is very bad news for Justin. The road surface has gone from buttery smooth to this stuck down gravel, which means much slower, way less comfortable for him because he's so low down. But at least it goes downhill soon. We've got 13 miles to our destination. Big day. Seven? Day 27! Day 27! You're joining us in the rest, yeah? Surprise! Ryan's joining us till LA. Yeah? I wish. Nah, he's got like school or something. This is a quick reminder that this bike ride that we're doing across the USA is for a good cause. Get kids going. There'll be a link in the description down below if you would like to donate. And we have raised our target to £100,000 now because we hit 75 grand yesterday. Thank you to everyone who's donated. If you want to check out the ride, there'll be a link to the Kamut page down below as well. Stay tuned for tomorrow where there'll be another episode of us riding bikes and talking to people at gas stations. Thanks. I bet Ryan's going to be completely fine in the morning.